Hi, my name is Al Green. Not that one, but the, uh, the struggling guy who was in the music industry for years trying to sell talent and songs to agents. The agents befriended me and taught me techniques that I want to pass on to you through my program, which is called You Can Talk, You Can Sell. Anyone who has ever taken this program has excelled in selling and either risen to the top of their company, their team, or the top of their field. It's called You Can Talk, You Can Sell, and you can get it right here. Before you join the six-figure selling system, let me ask you a simple question. Have you ever taken a sales technique and used it in your interpersonal life. That is a formula for disaster. I can say this from experience because whatever techniques that you learn to sell, when you bring them home to try to use those techniques to try to win over a point with your kids or your wife or someone in your family, typically it does not work. Remember, you're not at work, you have to separate the home life from the work life. But people ask me how I could be so diligent as to go to work and put in 12 hour days on my own, not because I'm asked to, but because I want to. And I tell them because I found a way to make it fun. And there's a saying that if it's fun, it gets done. When people do things that they enjoy, they have a tendency to keep doing them until they're finished. Another thing is, is that you want to learn from a master. You don't want to learn from somebody that's been doing this for six months and thinks that they've got it down. No, you got, you got 40 years of experience here. And what I'm bringing you is words from other people that have equal experience. Not just my own words, but words from people who are the success, successful salespeople. The ones who are now out traveling the world because they have sold enough to buy the time to justify it so their company will give them theirs, those wonderfully long vacations. It's part of the trick, it's part of the method, it's part of the technique. But basically, remember, it's faster with a master. That's why we all have to have coaches. I have to have a coach. I don't do this alone. I get advice from people who know better, better than me. People have been doing it either longer than me or made five times as much money as I did. It's really all about staying in touch. And the best way to stay in touch is check in with other people. When you join the membership on Facebook, you will hopefully choose an accountability partner and you guys can check each other to make sure that everybody is doing what they say they're gonna do and test techniques. Check in with me and test your techniques. Find out what works for you. Because what works for you might not work for the next guy, but it will work for you. Because nobody does you better than you do. I can't do what you do and you can't do what I do. We're two different people from two different worlds and we see things differently. But one of the things that we talk about is how to develop being yourself when you're working. That way you get to have fun. It's not just about talking to sell for a living. It's all about how you interface with people. If you're a people person, you might have a natural ability, but what if you're not used to that and you need to get used to it? Then what's the best way to do it? In the six figure selling system, I talk about learn and practice and sell. You learn what to do based on what is right for you, and then you practice it by working. That's what I mean by the third technique, which is sell. You practice by working. Practice makes perfect, right? Well, I can't tell you that every sale I've ever made was exactly the same. It's not the same way for everybody. Some people you talk to are very intuitive, and they think they can buy from you something better that you're selling 
for a better price or whatever. And that's up to you if you want to do that. And it's up to your company. But the bottom line is, is that you're dealing with a person who might be inquisitive. You might be dealing with a person who's a stickler for perfect grammar and maybe absolutely persnickety when it comes to how you present yourself and how you talk. There are people like that. I know because I've used a lot of times the wrong words in sentences and end up making up words because I think I'm saying another word and then have people kind of laugh at me because they know it's not a real word. I'll give you an example. Uh, a lot of times people will use the term speciality. Now that's okay if you're in England, but when you're in America or Canada, people like to hear the word specialty because they might say, now what is the specialty that your company focuses on? Or what is the f specialty that you focus on? Maybe you sell printing. I know because I sold printing for years and printing had the highest commission so I wanted to sell a lot, of, a lot of printing. So when people would ask me what my specialty was, I would follow the leader who was a top sales guy in my company who said, sell as much paper as you can because that has the highest commission. And he taught me how to double up sales and how to make it so that you are not just giving the minimum order in anything you do. And it doesn't matter if you're selling insurance. There's lots of other types of waivers and other types of insurance packages that you can put people into. You can combine insurances such as homeowner's insurance, which carries with it fire insurance, to things like earthquake insurance. And your best bet is to have the knowledge because, as I have said before, your confidence comes from your knowledge. When you have knowledge, that is where you get to have the absolute confidence when you talk about your product. Nobody can throw you a curve when you have the knowledge. You've got it covered already because you know the answers. I'm not talking about being arrogant with it. I'm talking about just simply being confident because you do know the answers. If you're working in technology and somebody throws a real technical question to you, then you might want to know how to answer that the best way. Because you might be talking to an engineer, a person who's very specific when they ask a question, and they're looking for a very specific answer. When you're talking to an astute business person, they might ask you a question, and they want a very, very precise answer. They want it to be more than just you think so. They want possibly a yes or a no, or a definitive answer that defines exactly what it is you're saying, not just the rounding off of what you think you're saying. There's a difference between, yeah, I think we carry that, and definitely I can get that for you. I keep it in my warehouse. There are questions that somebody might ask you about the total volume that you can deliver at one time. They want to know a specific answer. You can have fun with that. You can say, listen, I understand. Okay, what, what are you looking for? What's the volume you would like me to deliver? And I'll make sure it gets done. And they might give you some outrageous answer that you know is difficult to deliver. You have bosses. You have people that are strategizing inventory in your company. And you can go to them and say, listen, I got to put this package together. I have to deliver X amount of product in 30 days to company XYZ. And I have to be able to keep my promise. And it's not hard to go back if you can't keep your promise and say, okay, listen, I can deliver 80% with the 20% to follow in three to six weeks afterwards. And they might accept that because that 80% will carry them. There's lots of ways to strategize. We're going to talk about that. We're going to give you a chance to do some speaking and talk about what your experiences are and what are the areas that you need help? Where do we all need help? It doesn't hurt to have somebody to coach you. I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching as part of the six-figure selling system where you get to have coaching with me on a regular basis to help you answer your questions. And if need be, you can get me to work with you on the basis of strategizing 
exactly what it is that you need so that you can get your messages across and maximize your sales efficiency so you will see more income in your high ticket items. And those high ticket items could be anything from houses to yachts to office buildings. It depends on your area of expertise and where you're working. In some cases, I have helped people change careers, not from selling, but from companies. Because some companies do what you're already doing, but they pay more. And they understand the value of a hardworking person. So remember, if it's fun, it gets done. Think about all of your possibilities. What can you learn here in the six-figure selling system that's going to make you the most money? And what if it's fun to learn? It might not be as stodgy as you think it is because I'm not teaching formula. I'm not teaching a process that says go from step A to B. I'm teaching you how to maximize what you're already doing so you can make the most money. So I look forward to you joining me in the six-figure selling system. I'll see you then.